Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a trail called the Red Canyon Trail. It's located about 35 minutes outside of St. George, Utah, and is an excellent off-road trail for beginners or families that are going out for a casual off-road experience. The Red Canyon Trail turned out to be really a perfect mixture of rough terrain, smooth roads, sandy sections, and was a lot of fun for the entire family. This trail focuses more on the scenery and discovering new areas and less about obstacles and climbing over big rocks. A trail like this is perfect for most off-road SUVs and families wanting to get out and explore and see what's out in the wilderness. While it was fairly easy to drive, it did require us to think about what we were doing and pay attention, but it did allow us to see the desert in its true form as well as see some ancient history which was really exciting. This was a trail that was really exciting because it was off the beaten path, a little bit remote outside of St. George, but offered amazing views and the scenery and the red rock formations were absolutely stunning. The pinnacle of the trail is actually a cave called the Birthing Cave, which was used by indigenous people hundreds of years ago and has markings and cave drawings and etchings still there. If you have the time, you can climb the formation off to the west side, which gives you a great view of the valley. Initially, at the base of the formation, it's rather difficult to climb, but once you get over that initial climb, the rest of it is a lot easier, almost forming stairs as you climb to the top of the formation. I was really surprised by how beautiful the valley was and that I had never heard of this area before. This is as picturesque as you could expect to see in southern Utah. As we climbed up higher on the sandstone formation, we were surprised to find a nice little pond area which had invertebrates and other types of insect life and what the uh, kids referred to as fish swimming around inside of it. We spent a good half an hour here catching and releasing and had a great time on top of the rocks. Now when you leave the cave and the, and the red sandstone formations, you have two options. You can either go back the way you came, back down the Red Canyon or you can exit to the northwest through a little bit more of a, a technical section which takes you into another canyon. And the fun thing here is that there are some rock boulders and some ledges and steps you have to drive down for about 100 yards. And if you take your time and do it carefully, like we did here with the Forerunner, you can actually get through it pretty easily. But you do need to take your time, stack some rocks, and you'll get through it just fine. As we descended these rock ledges with the two vehicles, we took extra time and care with the foreigner to make sure that we did not bottom out on any of the ledges, as well as stacked rocks behind and underneath ledges to allow the foreigner to have a nice smooth place to drive down. In this case, the foreigner actually did need it. The clearance wasn't quite enough, while the Jeep was just fine. And compared to the forerunner, which took about 30 minutes to come down these ledges, the Jeep took about three minutes and did not need any spotting or careful considerations on how to descend this section of the trail.
And from there, it really is straightforward. You're gonna exit the canyon and head up and out through a secondary canyon that is really beautiful. Lots of tree life, lots of plant life, until you get to a small scramble, which will take very little effort, but it is kind of fun. And then after that, you exit the canyon and head over to the last final obstacle, which is a small V-notch. So after watching our friend exit through this small V-notch, we were excited to do the same. We opted to keep our wheels up high on the sides and just straddle over that uh, little obstacle without any trouble. And it's a lot of fun feeling the extra height underneath the truck. Once we exited through this section, it really is uh, open roads and easy trail all the way out to the forest road and then out to the main highway again. It's a very easy trail to find. Just head up to the Gunnison Reservoir and uh, look for the trail head just to the north of the Gunnison Reservoir. You should be able to find it without trouble, but check your maps, check your GPS. This is one that is easy to but also really fun if you can get out and take some time to do it. There's a lot of great trails here close by, and most of them uh, are pretty easy on the truck, but you can find some hard ones too if you look for them. Again, trails don't have to be difficult to be fun, and this is a good example of that. Thanks for coming along with us, and we look forward to seeing you next time.